let's try to diagnose Crohn's and colitis just with your poop. So I was diagnosed with both Crohn's and colitis, and I show people how I stopped my symptoms with my 13-day protocol. The first day is free on my YouTube channel page. Bloody diarrhea, what part of your intestines does this come from? Now, Crohn's gets diagnosed mainly when they find inflammation in the, the small intestine, and then there's secondary inflammation in the colon and other parts of the digestive system. Colitis, when there's mainly inflammation in the large intestine, this part right here. So if somebody has fresh looking blood, like bright red, normal looking blood, something's probably going on near the end of the colon because it, the, the blood hasn't had time to mix with poop. So if this blood was coming from the small intestine up here, it would be more purple and more black and dark. But a lot of the times, the blood just gets reabsorbed by your intestines and you don't see it. Now, if somebody has a form poop with streaks of blood, something is going on near the end of the colon. So poop does not form until like right about here. And it's this hard stool is scraping up against a wound or inflammation near the end of your colon. So they might even diagnose this as proctitis. And it's almost the same situation if somebody has a form stool with streaks of mucus. They probably have some sort of colitis or proctitis. If somebody is pooping pure mucus, I again would think this is some sort of a colitis. Because if mucus is being produced in the small intestine, it's probably getting reabsorbed by the time it gets all the way down here. Now this last stool right here is bile that your stool is going to stink. It's gonna be green, it's going to be yellow, and it's gonna be foamy, but it really stinks. And this is caused by your gallbladder going in and out of overdrive. And this sometimes gets diagnosed as BAM, bile acid malabsorption. Now this was causing the vast majority of my Crohn's symptoms, but I was never diagnosed with this. The only way to truly diagnose Crohn's and colitis is with a colonoscopy to see if there's inflammation in the colon, and then an MRI or a CT scan to see if there's inflammation in the small intestine. It's very hard to do that with poop alone, but this can give you a lot of good hints. You know, whether you're undiagnosed, have been diagnosed with Crohn's or colitis, my 13-day protocol can help get your Crohn's and colitis gut symptoms under control.